Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to solve the issue unsupported provider. Provider is not enabled in the Superbase React. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here you can see when I try to log in. So here we go with this one. So just go back. Sign in with Google. So it says that unsupported provider provider is not enabled. So how to fix that issue? We are going to learn in this video. Let's get started. So first of all, we have to go with the consent screen page. Okay, so let's go and choose your account. Right. Okay, so we are on the screen now. So here you have to select the project accordingly. Now scroll down. So make sure you have to edit this. So edit the app. Okay, so here we have to add the app domain. Okay, so what they have mentioned consent screen page, you have to go with authorized domains. So here we have authorized domains and let's add the domain. So here we go with the super base dashboard. Okay, and here we have to select the project. Then we have to add the URL. Okay, so here we go with the settings project API. This is our project. Okay, so let's copy this and add this project over here. Okay, invalid domain. Let's remove this. Okay, domain is added. Now save and continue. Okay, after this configure the following non sensitive scopes. So here we go with the scopes and the user info user profile is already added. So don't require it. Okay, then go to the credentials. Okay, then after this, we have to go with the credential section. Then we have to create the credentials, create the credential open auth client ID. Okay, you have to choose application type should be the web application. Okay, so there would be a we can make it like super base over there. Add the URL JavaScript URL. So here you have to add the site URL. So let me add the site URL that is localhost. Okay. Invalid it should be HTTPS. What we have in the JavaScript under the authorized JavaScript, add your site URL. Okay. And under the authorized redirect URL, callback URL from the dashboard. Okay. So let's take the callback URL from the dashboard. So here we need to go with the Google and it is disabled currently. Make it enable. And here we have the callback URL. Just copy this callback URL and paste it over here. Authorized redirect. Just copy back. Just paste it and I here I need to go with HTTP localhost. Okay, this is done. Let's create. So close it. Create. Because one of the field source is invalid, which is the domains you are you have added in the domain added to the auth consent screen with authorized domain. For the request from the okay, there is an issue in the HTTP. Okay, done. Let's create it. Okay, so uh, client ID, just copy this client ID and go with here and paste it. So make it enabled and put the client ID over here. After this, we have to paste it the client secret. So copy this and just paste the client secret over here. Okay. And Android authorized client IDs we don't have. Okay, so save this. This is saved. Now everything is done. Okay, let's go back and uh, let's try to log in with this one. So sign in with Google. Now here you can see this panel is open. Now I'm going to make it my technical Rajni and continue. Magento developer email is there. And if I go and inspect it, okay. 
so you can just do the inspect inspect it and whatever the information you have already in your uh, google account it will retrieve whether this to be a first name whether this to be a profile image everything you can get it okay which we which i which i will show you later on like uh, how to log in with the google github facebook okay so it's just a issue resolving video okay i hope you get it thank you so much for watching this video have a great day